Hi, I'm Emerson. Hi, I'm Walter White. Hi, I'm Thoreau. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gandhi. Next, please. Finally, I know not why we waited so long, but in this instance, I find myself not caring. What can I be getting you all today? I will need, on this day, a coffee black, nothing else needed. And as for myself, I will be needing a, of a fine feta and cheese turkey sandwich. What can I get you, sir? Hi, um, I'll have a... Hmm. Who were those guys? I, I don't. I don't know regulars. I would assume I started yesterday. Okay. Well, I'll just have. Um. Uh, I'll just have a coffee mug. Like just the just the coffee mug. How much do they cost? Sorry, sir. We do not sell coffee mugs here. You have to go to the one nearby. Hmm. Hundred bucks. Outside is much better than the interior. This freezing rain brings forth ideas of how weak everyone else is inside. I wholeheartedly agree. We three together out in this rain proves forth our collective individuality and steadfast personal courage in our beliefs. Yes, I do believe the outside world is the best. It's the best place to grow awareness of any cause, whether it be simple defiance from society or protest from a malevolent threat. So we hearty few, are we going to speak of anything? I, for one, cannot keep my thoughts to myself. They are soon to come out. I suppose so, so uh, let's hear it. It's just that, Look around us. We're in a world of the void. We're in a fake land. This isn't real. And I would say it must change. And in that, we must regress in a sort of way, as they call it. For progress has only lead us not to a world without nature. We must individualize ourselves and bring forth the change in this world. This mug used to be filled with tea. It's now full of coins. The ever-changing stature of life. I like the coinless mug. Perhaps the end product is not what is desired. And in unconformity, we miss on the best outcomes yet to be found. What are we doing outside? Um, anyway, um, have you, um, have you seen... Yeah. Um. Do you gentlemen want anything? Anything at all? Only conversation. Okay, Garrett. Oh. Yes, at this time we're only interested in what our mind sells us in exchange for newfound knowledge. Well, um, knowledge, huh? Well, I always say never give up control. Live life on your own terms. How's that for some knowledge exchange? That is an excellent idea, young man. In, in fact, we view, excluding our friend over there, we have based an entire ideology off that very ideal. Yes, indeed we have. We call it transcendentalism, a philoso philosophy based off individualistic thoughts and nonconformist attitude towards the world at large. The common man is our focus, and in truth, great souls are those who see that the spiritual is much stronger than material force, and thoughts do truly rule the world. For certain, in that way of thought I wholeheartedly proclaim, be oneself, not your idea of what you think someone else's idea of you should be. Man should not be bound by the social chains he finds himself in. In fact, he must transcend. Young man, your wisdom has astounded even the likes of me. I have been listening 
I've been listening and gathering knowledge from your conversation with your friends. I have no doubt in my mind that transcendentalism is right with you. Leave here with this in your mind. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. I have no point in collecting this change. Does it bring me any joy? No. Does it bring me any knowledge? No. Does it help me begin in any way possible? No. I am no better than the British who once held my people into slavery and the slavery that they've left are my people in. I have no point for this. Well, that is a lot to think about, but while I'm busy, I gotta go cook later. But I mean, thanks for trying to teach me something, but I didn't learn anything. Emerson, your charbroiled feta sandwich is here. Thank you. This stuff. Wait, sir. So you've got your drinks? Oh, you your thank drinks. you. Try them. Do you like them? How do they taste? Awesome.